hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this exaggerated flay sleeve so it has a center yoke and a side cut out and we are going to learn how to do that in this video and it has an inseam finishing as well and the back is sleeved so i am using a princess that for this you can use um a shoulder that or a normal that depending on the type of that you want to use but i want to use a princess that for this so my i the, the wideness of the neck will be 3.5 and the depth will be four and a half inches you can make it four inches if you want but i want mine to be four and a half inches so it will be i'll make it a round neck for now first of all i will cut the round neck before cutting out the skin illusion so i'll go ahead and curve my neck and after doing that i will use one inch for my shoulder slant and i'll go ahead and um draw my shoulder slant if you want to see my princess that pattern video i will link the video here so that you can watch it so i will cut out the neckline the shoulder slant and i will cut out the armhole i also cut out my center piece and I will cut out my breast curve. So after cutting that, I will take my body measurement. First of all, cut out your dart and the rest. Then I will place the center piece so that it will overlap the side piece before taking my body measurement. So I'll go ahead and place them this way you can see the way the center piece is overlapping the side piece and all the lines aligned so i'll go ahead and take my bust measurement the bust divided by four plus two inches seam allowance please if you are sewing this dress use two inches seam allowance so that if you make any mistake you have um enough space for adjustment so i also measured the waist the waist divided by four plus two inches so right now i'll go ahead and connect the lines and i will cut out so i'm trying to make this video short the parts where i have done a video already i will skip them i will link the video so you guys can go and watch the particular video so the particular video um for that so i'll go ahead and cut out the rest of my measurements so after cutting this out i will use the front piece to cut out the side piece i will not cut out my skin illusion for now i will use the front piece to cut out the back so the back is going to be laced that means it will not have a zipper allowance but if you want yours to have a zipper allowance i'll illustrate that so that you guys can understand so first of all i will make a space for my zipper allowance i will draw a line at the center back and i will label it zipper allowance that is if you want yours to have a zipper so this line that i drew is my zipper allowance so i'll label that in case you want yours to have a zip allowance so the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut the rest of the back part the back part is not going to have any that if you have been following me for a while you will notice that most of my back pieces do not have that i only add that when they are necessary but if they are not that necessary i will skip that part and they will still come out well so you can see the way i place them the, the center piece and the side piece are overlapping each other i mean only the breast cup area is overlapping each other then i cut out the remaining part so i'll also mark my neck width so after my marking my neck width i'll remove the front pattern so i want the back part to have a v neckline so the depth of that v neckline will be nine inches so you can make yours 10 14 depending on how deep you want your v neck to be so mine will be nine inches so i'll go ahead and mark the nine inches and i will draw a v neck so this is if you want your back piece to have a zipper allowance so 
so i have cut out the v neckline so remember i told you guys that my back part will be, have a lacing it will not have any zipper allowance so i will cut off the zipper allowance and after cutting off the zipper allowance i will still go in by two inches I'll still go in by two inches so this shaded part now is what i'm going to cut out because i want the back part to be open for the lacing so i'll go ahead and cut it out and i'll go ahead and smoothen out the v neckline so this is what the back part will look like know that and it will not have a zipper allowance instead i will reduce it by two inches that is from the center so here is the front pattern right now i will mark i will draw my skin illusion so i want my skin i want the depth of the skin illusion net to stop at one inch above the half length if you want yours to cross the half length fine but i want mine to be one inch above the half length so it depends on how deep you want yours to be if you want it to stop at the under bust fine if you want it to stop at the half length exactly fine but i want mine to stop at one inch above the half length so right now i am going to make a v neck you can see from the center you know i marked a round neck before so from the center of that round neck you will go in by two and a half inches that is where the v the wideness of the v will stop so this one that i marked right now is the yoke so i'll go ahead and cut out the yoke and remember if you are cutting out if you are cutting your yoke it should be on fold so this is the yoke the yoke is out already so right now i'll go ahead ahead and cut everything on my fabric so i am using a lace fabric for that so after that i'll cut the peplum for the sleeve the sleeve first of all you cut it as a peplum before uh, before covering it and the rest so i want the length of that sleeve to be 10 inches then remember this sleeve started from the half length of the front to the half length of the back so the half length is 18 inches the half length that i'm using is 18 inches but i don't want mine to reach the half length so i stopped at 17 inches from the shoulder so 17 for the front and 17 for the back is 34 inches and 34 inches i will divide it by 6.28 we know how we normally cut out our circle our peplum so the half length from the front to the half length to the back is 34 inches so the 34 inches i divided it by 6.28 so right now i have 5.4 but i'll make it 5.5 so 34 divided by 6.28 is 5.4 but i made it 5.5 so after marking that i'll mark the length of my sleeve the length of the sleeve will be 9 inches sorry plus 1 inch for seam allowance that is 10 so i marked 10 inches round and this is for the mm -hmm. first step remember that the the sleeve has two steps so the first step is will be nine inches then the second one will be seven inches so this is a full circle though i did not open it up so this is for the first sleeve and i'll go ahead and cut another one that is for the left side you know i'll cut one for the right and one for the left so this one is for the second step the second step is shorter than the first one so i will mark my 5.5 .5 as usual that is for the reduce so i'll mark the 5.5 .5 round and from that place where i mark the 5.5 .5, i will measure eight inches remember the first sleeve is nine inches so this one is seven seven plus one inch seam allowance that is eight so after i will cut this one again for the left side this one that i'm cutting right now is for the right side and after cutting this i will cut out for the left side so i am using a lace fabric remember so i will cut out a lining for this as well and then i will cut it on my lace also 
so i'll have four pieces after everything two will be nine inches long and the other two will be seven inches long so here are the pieces i have added um my tissue gum i use a tissue gum as the interface so this is the side pieces and you also see the center pieces remember there is this video that i uploaded how to add a neat yoke a deep and neat yoke i will also link that here so that you can go and see how i joined my yoke so you can see that the center piece is two because i divided it into two and this is my yoke as well i cut my yoke is double i want it to be strong so i will turn the neckline of the yoke first before joining it so you can see the center piece the yoke will be at the middle of the center piece so i'll go ahead and join the yoke to the center piece and then i will join the side so this is the back you can see i will not add any that to it so for the peplum you can see i have cut out a lining for the peplum and a lace for it as well and i added hard hard interface to both the lining and the main fabric so you can see there are four pieces here i added hard interface to the lining and i also added hard interface to the main fabric that is the one that has the lace so after doing that i'll also use a crinoline. line i will double my crinoline. line i'll use it to turn the edge so that it will stand very well so i am done turning the peplum if i'm cutting my lining for my peplum i don't open i don't normally open the center after turning i will go ahead and open the center it, it makes things easier for me and when i'm cutting i also make my lining to be bigger than the main fabric so you can see i added a crino line i used the crino line to turn all of them so right now i will start opening them up because remember that i cut the flay together that is from the half length of the front to the half length of the back so i'll start opening them i've opened this one so after opening i'll place it this way and i'll go ahead and curve the edge it's i will not leave it straight i'll make it curvy you can see the way i curved it so after curving it i'll go ahead and close that curved area so i'll go ahead and open all of them that way if i open i will cut out the center of the lining and then i'll place it this way and and, and i'll go ahead and curve so if you check the picture very well you will notice that the end or the edge the edges are curved they are not just straight so i'll go ahead and curve all of them there are four pieces i'll cut all of them and when you are turning you will use your machine to smoothen out the rough parts so this is the last one i'll also go ahead and curve it so that it will not be pointy so i'll go ahead and turn all of them so here is the skirt part and here is the upper part you can see i have joined my yoke and my side pieces so i will mark my half length plus half an inch you can see that i mark 18 and half so i will trim off from there like i told you guys i will do an instant finishing and this dress has a side cut out as well so i'll go ahead and join the front upper part and the lower part of the front this is for the main fabric so after doing that i'll also repeat the same thing on the lining because i want to do an instant finishing so i have joined the two you can see that the yoke is very neat so i'll trim off the excess on the skirt part then i'll repeat the same thing on the front part of the lining so i'll check if the skirt part is equal and after doing that i'll also check if the upper part is equal i will use the front the main fabric to trace out the length of the lining and after doing that i will join the lining of the upper part and the lining of the lower part so i have trimmed my lining for the for the upper part and i have joined it to the down part so you can see this is how it looks and after doing that i'll also go ahead and trim off the excess on of the lining 
so i'll also repeat the same thing on the back part so this is the back part i have added my loops and i've added my zipper like i told you guys it will have um, the lacing at the back so the lining is also like this i have joined the upper part of the lining to the lower part so after doing this i'll go ahead and shape them differently i will shape the main fabric differently and i will shape the lining differently as well so right now i'll place the main fabric together after placing them i will mark my measurements and i will go ahead and shape so remember that this dress has a cut out so first of all i will measure my cut out i'll trim them so that they will be equal the slits of the skirt is at the front so i'll measure them so i'll be sure that they are equal and they are half length aligned so right now i will go ahead and draw the shape of the cut out so i want my cut out to be two inches away from the dart line you can see how i curved this one so i also measure two inches away from the dart line on the other side and i'll make my triangular shape i have a video on this i have a detailed video on this so you can go check it out so that you will know how i joined this so after cutting this out i will trace it out on my skin fabric i will trace it out on my skin fabric and then i will use it and replace this that um the part that i have cut out if you want to know this in detail i have a detailed video on that so you can see i have replaced my cut out with another fabric this is a skin fabric so i have replaced it for the back part and for the front part so right now i'll go ahead and join the two of them together i'll place them and then i'll take my bust measurement my waist measurement and my hip measurement so make sure they are equal so before doing that remember to pin down the front and the back So I'll take my hip measurement. My hip measurement is 46. I will mark. My waist measurement is 34. I will mark. And I'll also mark my bust measurement. So you can see the cut out. So after shaping, I'll come back and show you guys. So I'll also mark my bust measurement and then connect them with my chalk. Then I'll go ahead and join. So i'll also repeat the same thing that i did on the main fabric on the lining except the cut out area the lining is not going to have that cut out so this is the lining i'll go ahead and shape the lining i'll take my measurements and i'll go ahead and shape so i am done shaping the main fabric and the lining and i have ironed them so here is the peplum area you can see that i have closed all those curved areas and i have closed the round area the circumference as well so i'll place um, them together one step will be nine will be nine inches and the second one will be seven so i'll place them this way and i'll go ahead and join them together if you want you can join them separately but i want to join mine together before attaching it to my dress so here is the main fabric i am done joining it and here is the lining so i'll go ahead and iron i've ironed them already so i'll go ahead and insert my lining you can see the way i'm placing it the front side of the lining will be facing the front side of the fabric then i'll go ahead and secure this with a pin i will secure the two of them with a pin
so i am done joining the down part and you can see the slit so i'll go ahead and open the slit and i will notch i did not open the slit on my lining so that it will be very easy for me to turn so you can see i have notched my slits i'll go ahead and turn this and after turning i will iron it very very well then after ironing i'll go ahead and close the back part please try and watch my previous videos it will explain everything very well so i will turn it you can see how it looks it has an instant finishing so everything is fine so after doing this i will turn the back part and i'll also turn the skin illusion area so the rest will not be very hard for you to turn so after turning all those things i'll go ahead and close my shoulder so this is the back part i'll open the zipper and i'll go ahead and close it and i am done closing so this is the inner inside you can see how neat it looks so i'll go ahead and add a hemming gum at the neckline and iron it very well so that the lining will not be showing on the skin illusion area so i am done ironing that i have closed my shoulder and i've also trimmed my armhole so right now i am going to place my flay so i decided to join it one by one so that it will be easy for me so you can see i placed it from the half length and from the half length it will cross the shoulder like it will cross the armhole side you can see i'll go ahead and pin this so that it will be very easy for me to sew when i go to my sewing machine i couldn't switch an overlocker so i did not overlock this circumference but if you can reach an overlocking machine please overlock it i mean weaving like weave the circumference before adding it so right now i'll go ahead and pin it to start from my half length then it will cross my bust point and then it will cross my armhole area and down to the half length of the back so i'll go ahead and sew that on my sewing machine i'll show you guys so i am done with the first step that is the one that is seven inches long i am done sewing that and you can see that it is very fine you can also use a bias to cover the edges so right now i'll go ahead and place the second one so remember i added a crinoline line to this so do not forget to add a crinoline line to yours so i'll go ahead and place the second one then i'll follow the same path and then sew down to the back so after doing this i'll also repeat it on the other side of the dress so i'll go ahead and follow the path of the previous one and then i'll go ahead and join so i am done joining for one side you can see how it looks it is so full and it is standing because of the hard gum and the crino line so right now i'll go ahead and join for the other side first of all i'll join the first step and after joining the first step i will join the second one this dress looks simple but to be honest it will take time so you need to take things you need to take things gradually and especially use more especially please use your pins because your pins will help you they will guide you especially this area that i'm joining right now pin everything down then check how it looks before joining so this one will cross my armhole area that is the shoulder area and then it will go down to the back so after doing that you can go ahead and close the armhole with a bias if you cannot close it from the inside close it with a bias it's not really sure because the flay the exaggerated sleeve will cover it it will cover it very well so i will sew this first step and i'll also go ahead and add the second one
so this is the second one this is the nine inch the length of this one is nine inches so i'll follow the same path i'll start from the back this time i'll follow that path and i'll sew down to the front and at the end of the day our dress is so beautiful you can see how good it looks on my client it took time but please take your time and sew it neatly iron very well and use your pins so thank you guys for watching um my online class is going on our blazer and our blazer trouser and jumpsuit class is going on so if you want to register i will drop the link to our telegram and our whatsapp group in the comment section so that you can join if you are interested people have already started making payments so do not miss this class because this class will be very very loaded please do not forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video see you in my next video Bye.